the wider church looked to him to make a judgment about the apparitions, as it had looked to the local bishops in the cases of Fatima and Lourdes. Was he prepared to give official approval for organized pilgrimages to the hill where Ivanka and Miriana had first seen the Madonna? As a former pilgrim guide at Lourdes, Bishop Yannick had no intellectual difficulties with miracles or with the fervent devotion they evoke. He had himself visited many shrines of Mary. But as a shepherd of the flock, under an atheist government, he was also responsible for the credibility of the church. With one priest under suspicion, he had to tread carefully. In the statement issued in the summer of 1981, he came down firmly on the fence. He defended the integrity of the children, but at the same time, recommended extreme caution. Prema svim pričanjima pobožnih žena vidjela ovo, doživjela i tako dalje, jer e, takve njihove fantazije, često puta i halucinacije, e, pomalo ubijaju ugled i vrijednost Fatime, Lurda, Isusa Krista. I onda nam mogu reći, vidiš kako ste vi krivo vjerovali, ako se, ako se dokazalo da je bilo krivo, ja? što uvijek može se dogori da oni koji danas govore da vide, mogu do deset godina reći nisam ništa vidio. In March 1983, the bishop set up a theological commission to help him form a judgment. The Madonna began to recommend earnest prayer for the bishop because of the heavy load of responsibility he was carrying. The bishop's commission expanded its membership and delayed its report. Not everybody sees the miracle. <laughs> sa onim što ni sam ne zna ili što nije istina. Zato kad i posižemo za ukazanjima kao argumentom, moramo dobro promisliti je li to možda kontraargument. Pa da nam kažu, vidiš, na temelju čega si ti vjerovao. I zato vrlo treba biti obrezan, vrlo obrezan.